going to talk to you about scales. Music is made up of rhythms and pitches, changes in pitches, not just plain pitches being played. Intervals are the difference between pitches. The difference between pitches makes us feel things. And that's why we do it, to feel things. We like the difference in sounds. From a long, long time ago, we organized sounds because they feel good. We describe the organization so we can relate to it, so we can communicate about it. Understanding what the differences are in sound allows us to play with them. If I lived thousands of years ago, I might have been walking along absentmindedly tapping an arrow on my bowstring. Just walking along, looking for something to hunt. Or I might have been sitting by the fire on a quiet night and I might be just plucking on the string, boom, 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 like that. And I might have found, boom, 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 right halfway along the string, or one third of the way along the string. And I've marked them, I measured them out, and I marked them. If I pluck it right there, I get another sound. And I get what we call the octave, and then I get a third of the way along the string, I get what we call the fifth. And those are very important sounds. Or maybe someone was cleaning out a bone or just playing with it, and I don't have a, a hollow bone here, but I have a piece of plastic and I've plugged up one end, it's a tube, and it's like a pop bottle and you can blow on it. And you get a sound. And if you blow harder, you get the octave of that. And you blow harder yet. You get the fifth. Now we have music. I call them the octave and the fifth because those are modern ideas based on what we've come to call scales or organized patterns of notes. For now, we'll call them halves and thirds because we found them there on the bowstring.